Finally, it's pumpkin spice latte season, the time of year where the temperature finally levels off, spook month is just around the corner, and Bake Off is back on the telly. Getting cozy is finally on the top of everyone's priorities, and what better way to get cozy than with my dulcet tones delivering yet another PS4 roundup. On with the show. First up is the next expansion for Bungie's MMO, Destiny 2. It's called Forsaken. Forsaken starts with a real narrative bang that will leave long-term fans of the series shaken and moves on to a western-esque revenge story that takes out big bads across barren wasteland. But causing perhaps even more conversation is the Year 2 patch, launching at the same time, which makes some major changes to the core mechanics. For one, shotguns, fusion rifles and sniper rifles are becoming standard weapons, meaning players will be able to use them much more frequently. If you've been away from Destiny 2 for a while, now is definitely a good time to dust off the old disc. Now, the hype for this one has been huge, and I bought it on day one. It's Marvel's Spider-Man. It's not a comic book interpretation or a movie tie-in. This game is based in a distinct Spider-Man universe of its own. There are constant throwbacks to other versions of the webhead though, from the 90s cartoon to the Tobey Maguire movies, all the way up to Avengers Infinity War. I can't say enough about this game to do it justice. The controls are tight and clean, the combat is fun without being too repetitive, and the endless collectibles keep the exploration exciting well into the endgame. I'm 20 hours in and showing no sign of giving up. It really feels like this is a superhero game I've always been waiting for, and I absolutely think that you should play it. Now, would it be a PS4 roundup without a little retro gaming thrown in? Retro gamers and fighting game fans alike will love this one. It's Capcom's beat em up bundle. This game brings together seven retro fighting games, Final Fight, Captain Commando, The King of Dragons, Knights of the Round, Warriors of Fate, and two games previously unavailable on home consoles, Armored Warriors and Battle Circuit. A great one for home multiplayer and a heat spoonful of nostalgia, this one has definitely caught my eye. And if you know a retro gamer, this could be a really good one to bank as a Christmas present. If you prefer exploring an intricate story as opposed to a button mashing fighter or a space traveling RPG, then spend a little time with Life is Strange 2. The sequel to the hugely praised Life is Strange, this game follows two brothers who were forced to run away from home after a tragic supernatural incident in their hometown of Seattle. The game looks to continue the heavily decision-based storytelling of the first game. Aesthetically, it's a gorgeous game, and the graphical style really does it justice. The storyline is also distinct from the first game, so there's no need to worry if you haven't played it. You can still enjoy this game on its own. Another year, another FIFA. While I'm all about charging extra to people who spend a lot of time outside, I do wonder how football fans can justify buying a brand new FIFA game every single year. How many new features can it really have? Well, apparently lots. From fine-tuning mechanics, to improved graphics and character animation, new tactical options, and greater control over stuff like defensive styles, you outdoors type will just love the latest edition of Football the Game. Ball games don't tickle your fancy? Can't get into the swing of superheroes? Space leaving you blank? Don't worry, this adorable game, Little Dragon's Cafe, might be the one for you. Led by the creator of the Harvest Moon series of cute little farming simulators, Little Dragon's Cafe runs on a similarly adorable aesthetic that will have you spending hours on repetitive little tasks and loving it. The game opens with a twin brother and sister running a cafe for their mother. For reasons that are better left for the cutscenes to explain, you gotta raise a dragon, cure your mother's illness, and help the family business thrive. Gameplay mechanics and graphics are fine-tuned and just so cute. I have to stop using the word cute, but it's partly the cuteness that makes this game so satisfying. It's like playing a game made out of kittens. Well, that's it for our September roundup. Which game are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget, for all the latest games, visit us in store or go to webuy.com. See you next time.